Hello friends, my name is Surreal Emil and welcome back to some more Forza Mode Spot 6. Today we are doing another race build and my car for today is the little Opal Cadet GTE. Uh, so I got a um, comment from a subscriber a long time ago who wanted to see me build this vehicle up as a race car, so that's what we are doing today. Let's get into this and take a look at some engine swaps. Now the original engine, sure it's fine, 114 horsepower, 119 pounds feet of torque, isn't bad. I've driven this car before around the Top Gear track and it was actually surprisingly quick. However, we are going to throw it away because we've got some interesting engines. First of all, we've got a turbo rally, which we're not going to use. We've got a 5.7 litre V8 and we've got the 3.7 litre V6. Now, uh, the 3.7 litre V6 isn't particularly interesting but I'm somewhat tempted to build it using that but I'm also tempted to buy the 5.7 litre V8 and I think I'm going to go for the V8 purely because um, of A the noise and B the fact that I kind of want this car uh, to be a little bit of a sort of sleeper car I guess uh, and make a fantastic noise. Now I'm tempted to switch it to all wheel drive and I think I'm actually going to do that. Uh, now, some of you may be going, why are you switching it to all-wheel drive? You know, that doesn't seem like a very good idea. Well, once upon a time, I believe this was actually a rally car. And I've decided that all-wheel drive for rally cars is better than uh, rear-wheel drive. And this car, after I'm done with it, is... This is basically going to be a silly, silly, crazy car. So, uh, if you wanted to see this car built up a little bit sensibly, uh, I do apologise, but I am going to uh, basically completely... An utterly destroy it hypercars with this. This is going to be a hypercar killer. Uh, that's my plan. Do I like that plastic bumper? I kind of like the plastic bumper, so I'll leave it. So I've done the race tyres. Let's do the racing clutch and racing gearbox uh, because this thing will assumably have some ancient 1979 gearbox in it. Uh, we're going to get the race drive line in. We're basically going to get all the handling bits in because this car will sorely need them. Uh, yeah, let's get the race diff in there as well. Uh, right, upgrade the brakes. Yes, absolutely. I don't want 1979 brakes on my super nuke, as I'm going to call it. Let's uh, buy some racing suspension. Let's buy the race front roll bars. Do, 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 do. More roll bars. Uh, also, I've supercharged the V8. In case you're wondering why I've done that, it's because it makes a better noise, essentially. That's like the only reason for it. Now we're going to put in the roll cage, I'm not sure about weight reduction, £2,500 isn't a lot and I think this car will probably be a bit uncontrollable if I take any more weight out of it so I'm not going to. I'm going to increase the supercharger size, I'm also going to increase the camshaft so we get a bit of a better red line on this vehicle. I'm going to put in racing exhaust uh, for 563 brake horsepower, also takes a lot of the weight out. Gonna stick an air filter in here, takes a bit more of the way out, £2,400, this car weighs barely anything at the moment. Uh, let's throw in the racing pistons, we are starting to have some issues climbing the PI. This could be a very, very scary build, <laughs> um, certainly. Putting this much power in such a little dinky car uh, certainly never ends well. It sometimes ends well. I mean, I put uh, quite a lot of power in a Mazda MX-5 and it was fairly okay. This I'm not so confident with. Yeah. Uh, should we increase the displacement as well? I don't usually like increasing displacement for some reason, but I'm going to do it on this one. Uh, can we get anything? Yeah, we may as well throw the uh, intercool on there. Throw a bit more weight back into it. Uh, 715 horsepower, yeah, uh, let's also throw the racing flywheel in, and is there anything else I can do to strip some PI off of this thing, uh, maybe throw some aftermarket wheels on it, uh, those wheels kind of suit the car, I <laughs> know, they're really silly and I really want to use them at some point, so yeah, now, I'm not sure if, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that would add to the silly, I might put them as 18 inch, yeah, uh, to the, the person who asked for this, you asked for it, and uh, I'm supplying you with it, so yeah, uh, as I might have ruined your car, I apologise. Anyways, uh, let's get into some tuning, because my god, this car's going to need a lot of that. Alright, uh, gearbox seems pretty perfect, 2.4 seconds to 60. Uh, that makes this the, one of the fastest, ex well, this is 
faster than most cars in the world at the moment. It's faster than an aerial Atom V8. Now, downforce, yes, all of the downforce is going into this thing because I do not trust it. Um, 173 miles, uh, I don't like the look of that diff. Yeah, you're getting uh, bought right back down to earth, sunshine. Uh, that is, that. that's not happening. I'm going to go with 45% on the deacceleration, 25% on the acceleration. And power distribution, I'm going to bring it inboard a little bit. Actually, that'll... Right, no, actually, I'm going to push it out. Sod it. 75% of the power is going to the rear wheels now. Okay, right, let's see how uh, this vehicle does. Uh, we need to find it a track to go on. Uh, what track haven't we used in this series yet? Um, hmm, 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 hmm. In Indianapolis? Uh... Let's go with the Indianapolis, uh, the Grand Prix alternate. Sod it, let's go with that one. I'm going to reduce it down to three laps, and we're going to see how the little Opal Cadet gets on. My predictions is this is going to end pretty catastrophically for me. Uh, last time I put a lot of power into a car, it was the Audi RS4, and that really did not end well. So, hopefully this goes a bit better than that car did, because that car was awful. It, it was atrocious. Hopefully this one isn't too bad. Um, fingers crossed. 715 horsepower, four-wheel drive, Opel Cadet. Hmm, I bet you didn't expect to hear that when you woke up this morning, did you? Uh, well, to be fair, if you looked at this video and, hmm, this is probably going to be a sensible build, you, you, you was wrong. It's a, it's a silly build, and that's that's what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I build uh, race cars. <laughs> okay, real race cars versus homemade race car. Well, one thing I can assure you of is we will have the straight line speed. I'm not sure about anything else. Let's listen to this. It sounds good. Is it going to be good though? Close ratio gearbox. Uh, we are past all of them. We're now onto the hypercars. Bye bye all the hypercars. Okay. Uh, and then bye bye all the braking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, brakes uh, are not good. Brakes are not a strong point of a, a gazillion horsepower Opel Cadet. Now, the other scary thing with this car is the tyres. Now, the tyres are only 205s, uh, which is a little bit of a worry. Uh, sorry, expensive Ferrari. Uh, last time we managed to race cleanly, this time not so cleanly. Uh, there is understeer at 30 miles an hour, which is always a good sign. I don't think this was the right version of Indianapolis to go for, to be honest with you. Oh my god, the uh, understeer. <laughs> this might be worse than the... I uh, don't know, actually. I'm not going to uh, say it's worse than the RS4 just yet. Uh, we need to give it a few more minutes to simmer in before we say it's anywhere near that bad. Smash a Capri out the way. Try not to smash into a Bugani Huayra. Um, and on the power, on the power, on the power. It's quick in a straight line. I'll give it that. The speedo is just completely dead. Um... Yeah, we got a Nissan R390 there. Very cool car. I love the R390. It's a great car, that. Um, I kind of wish I was in that and not this, but hey, whatever. Uh, so, I was going to build uh, a Corvette, and I will indeed be building a Corvette uh, probably uh, next time. The issue I had is, uh, unfortunately, the Xbox Live Marketplace is down. I wanted to build like a specific Corvette with a paint job and everything, so yeah, that went out the window. I'm really going to need to increase the uh, difficulties of these drive tasks for next time. Uh, bye bye, Lancia Beta thing. Okay, so the one thing we don't have is straight line speed. We really don't have that, and we really need to start braking. Maybe that was a bit early, but I really just don't want to leave it to chance. That beta race cars just gone straight around the outside oh my god <laughs> it's uh yeah it's about as uncontrollable as you'd expect i kind of like the rear end of that car it's really cool i don't think i've ever driven the lancia race car 
to be fair, I think it did this and that come in the same DLC. I'm not sure. Uh, I do remember distinctly this coming in a DLC that I didn't particularly care for, if I remember rightly. I kind of like this car though, so. Yeah, it's a very, I like the two-tone paint job. That's probably my favourite thing about this car. That's probably the reason I like it so much. That is just like an enjoyable, fun little car to throw around. Uh, or was, uh, before it gained four-wheel drive and uh, stupid, stupid amounts of power. We're back around the race car. Let's see if we can hold him off again. Uh, we are coming up to the third lap in a minute. Got Koenigsegg Gear, which we're apparently just going to understand why trying to get to. is the, Right, where is the race car? Race car's trying to go around the outside. I do not recommend that in such an understeery vehicle. Oh, he's going up the inside. I wasn't expecting that. I also wasn't expecting that random twitch there. Yeah, this kind of has a short-ish wheelbase, which makes it a little bit um, finicky. Finicky, that's a good word. Let's use that for this car. Uh, the Koenigsegg Gear just does not give a damn. Completely killing the McLaren. Oh my god. Right. Yeah. Uh, what happened there is I accidentally jumped a curb and that upset the brakes, apparently. Uh, again, I'm sorry, McLaren. I've kind of smashed into you. Right. Go on, Aguera. I really want the Koenigsegg to win this race. If I don't win this race, that Koenigsegg better win this race. Just notice the fuel tank, or the fuel, sorry, is uh, depleting slowly. Um. <laughs> Right. Oh, the Mercedes race car is battling with the McLaren. Uh, sorry, the Koenigsegg. It's a good battle up there. Uh, if only I could try and get my little cadet up there. Right, let's... Speed! Speed and power. All the rest of it. Right, there we go. Understeer, 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 understeer. Right, uh, Conan Zeg, you are mine. I really don't want that Mercedes to win because I really like the Conan Zeg Aguera. Right, there we go. I don't care, I'm getting on the power. So, overall, what's this car like to drive? It's scary. It, um, to be honest with you, it's not quite as ridiculous as you'd think just because it's, you know, it's four wheel drive. Um, I could have left it rear wheel drive, uh, I decided not to, uh, maybe for a silliness aspect it should have uh, been put as four wheel drive, but um, overall it's uh, quite scary to be honest with you, because it's such a small car and because it's got so, it's got understeer, I'm not going to lie, it's quite scary, I'm just going to do, no, okay, that uh, that's revenge for me being a twat. And now everything's damaged. Let's just try and get the car home. Let's try and get a third place. It's pulling, it's pulling, it's pulling. Yeah. Okay, so that was a uh, payback for me trying to be a colossal twat. But either way, being a colossal twat, I've managed to secure third place. Yeah, not quite a um, win for the cadet. Jeez, it looks really quite badly injured. I apologize, cadet. Ooh, wheel spin. Uh, let's do a wheel spin on camera. I don't think I've done a wheel spin on camera for a long time. Get a million credits. Bollocks. Okay, there we go, we leveled up Opal as well. Overall, the Cadet is a very, very crazy contraption. I recommend leaving it stock, to be perfectly honest with you. Anyway, friends, well, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Uh, feel free to leave your suggestions on what you'd like to see me race build uh, for next time. And yeah, until next time, friends, my name's been The Real Emil. Thank you all very much for watching, and farewell.